Wearing trances Going all to different places, different planets Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty-handed Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Teresa. If you're new here, welcome. You guys have really been asking for more styling videos and I have the first spring decorate with me today. We are going to be capturing the living room as well as the dining room. I'm going to show you guys how I style and I'm going to be utilizing a lot of the items that I got and I showed you guys in my prior haul from golden oldies and other antique vintage found shops that i found i am super excited for a lot of these pieces just to incorporate now what you're gonna see is very i feel as though this year it's going to be very modern sleek a little bit of pattern not too much but i hope you guys enjoy it please make sure you do not forget to subscribe because i have a lot more spring deck with me videos to come i um want you guys to let me know what you guys think if you guys saw my last video i am super excited to show you guys how i style a lot of the pieces that i found and yeah so let's just get straight into the video please do not forget to like comment and subscribe i love to talk to you guys and let's get straight into it okay you guys so remember when i said i wanted some wall art behind my sofa i decided to diy it with a simple blanket from ikea basically did a quick diy and wrapped the blanket in a canvas and then made a wooden border around the canvas and it just turned out really good i used the same staining combination that i did with my hutch in my previous videos you can go ahead and see that it turned out exactly how i envisioned i wanted that texture and it was just beautiful now going into decorating my tv stand so i am very aware of scale now and i know that this tv stand is way too small i should get another one but that is for another day but i'm going to add my amazon coffee table books to this stand and it's going to be very minimal i want this to be very clean Clean, aesthetic like I don't want too much going on so I am adding this I'm gonna add this um, catch-all tray that I got from golden oldies however I liked how it looked but I needed a little bit more height so then I added this clay pot so my sectional is in this tweeted type color it is actually from american signature i love this um, sofa but it is quite difficult to style when it comes to pillows other than white so i am going to be adding a combination of pillows the white pillow covers that you see is actually from ikea and the floral ones is from a instagram shop that i got last year um, called apartment number three and then you can see that I added the Amazon pillow covers that I got and I showed you in my last haul. I'll leave that linked. And that is basically the combination that I am going for. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move into the favorite part of the decorating, which is the coffee table. You guys may notice that the coffee table looks slightly different because I did go ahead and paint it um, and got rid of that grayish kind of undertone that it originally had. So of course you need to start off with some coffee table books. I got this from Home Goods. You can find it on Amazon. I'll make sure I link it. I decided to go ahead and just take it out the wrapper since it's a darker um, tone and plus it looks better. So I decided to take it off um, and look at the beautiful illustrations. 
you can style it with the book open but I decided to go ahead and just stack a couple of my favorite books and of course you know the art of home had to be one of them and what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just add them you know in accordance to the circular table I can typically only add like three clusters so adding books is my go-to. I'm gonna add these beautiful stone dishes that I got from Golden Oldies. These stems are from Magnolia and they are called the Freesia Bundle and they are gorgeous. I haven't seen anything like it recently. Perfect spring flower. Um, it actually comes in a bundle of five stems so I do have two bundles here but I just love the way the petals look and um, they feel they have that realistic feel to it. Beautiful stems for the spring. I'll leave that link below. Adding this arrangement just gave the coffee table a little pop of spring in which it definitely needed because I needed some height these candles are actually from Hobby Lobby they're in the 15 inch extra long so elegant so beautiful I'm adding a single wick candle in a glass container my all-time favorite and then this magnifying glass just gives it that hint of brass give that warmth to the table and this is just how it turned out this design just very organic very minimalistic and just a perfect touch that I needed to my living room we do have a little nook in between the rooms which I'm just going to add this beautiful elm stool that I got from Zara just to add a little touch to this little nook area nothing too crazy i um, just wanted to fill this space Next to the sofa, I added this stool that I DIY'd. I think I'm gonna go ahead and DIY it a little bit more because I wanna get a more of a darker tone. That will be in another video, obviously, but I got these hydrangeas six months ago and we're gonna open it together. And they, it, these hydrangeas are from A Floral. They're dried hydrangeas. I have a problem with opening up packages immediately. And yeah, coming out of the package, you can see that it did take the shape of the packaging. However, once I fluffed it out just a tad bit, one, I was surprised that there was not extreme fallout. And two, they conformed and fluffed so lovely. And this is just, three stems um it's no longer available but hopefully they will bring it back because this is top tier i wanted to add this to the side of the sofa just to give a little bit more extension to the sofa You guys, let me know how you feel about this and how it turned out. I really think it is something simple and elegant, nothing too much. So heading over to the dining room, I decided to switch out that console table that I originally had here and put this console table that I got from Home Goods, and then also transferring my DIY canvas that I DIY'd last year or the year before. Now you guys know I am obsessed with my clay pots and this large one, I am going to add these beautiful hydrangea stems from Hobby Lobby. I have four stems and they actually are such a beautiful 
piece. They are so realistic. The stems are not too um, green, but a perfect muted green color to bring out that realistic look. And you guys, this beauty, if you're in my community page, this two-handled vessel is a beauty. I got this from Living Century on Instagram. I linked them below. It's such a beautiful piece. I'm so happy that I got it. And just adding this piece gave this end of the table some elevation. And you guys, I am so happy as to how it looked and how it turned out. Everything is just so simplistic, but modern in a way. Of course, I think I'm going to add a candle or some type of lighting element here just to give it some glow. But in the midst of me decorating, I got another order. And long and behold, it is from Living Century. And you guys, they have their drops. You have to check them out. They have these beautiful vessels. I only got vessels from them, but I may add some breadboards and just look how this looks paired together. But they are coming up with another drop pretty soon. So I do suggest you guys check them out. But yeah. So if you guys have been following along, you know I got this whitewash olive jar floor vessel and I got this from Golden Oldies and I thought it would just go perfectly in this area in front of this um, floor mirror that I have here in this brass color and you guys, I think this is perfect with the contrast with the floors and the vessels actually looks super bomb and I'm pleased with how it actually looks. One thing about purchasing pillows at Home Goods, if you don't have anywhere to put them, I'm just, I am just winging it and adding it to my dining chairs. But this is going to finish off the dining room and I just love everything, you guys. It's just very serenic and exactly what I envisioned when I thought about spring in my home. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys loved everything that I shown. I just love it. I mean, I might add a candle or two, you know, in different areas, but I just love the atmosphere in which I am creating and yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good rest of the week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.